Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuits analysis. Solve the problem number 12. Let's start first with the problem number 1. Let's consider this network consisting of three resistors labeled R1 through R3 along with one independent current source IA. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source especially a current controlled voltage source. The question now is to find the current IX is the current through the resistor R2 and the power supplied by the current controlled voltage source. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply Kirchhoff's laws to solve this problem. Let's start first by applying Kirchhoff's current law at node A we can write I2 plus IA is equal to IX and we already know that IA is equal to 20 amps that means I2 plus 20 is equal to IX. Let's move on now by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 1 we can write negative R2 IX plus 60 IX minus R3 I2 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain negative 50IX plus 60IX minus 150I2 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 10IX minus 150I2 is equal to 0. By substituting now equation 1 in 2, we derive one equation in terms of uh, I2. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 200 minus 140I2 is equal to 0. That means I2 is equal to 200 over 140, we get 1.428 amps. And from equation 1, we have IX is equal to I2 plus 20. If we replace I2 with its numerical value here, we obtain IX is equal to 21.428 amps. Let's move on now to the power supplied by the dependent source is equal to 60 IX multiplying by I2. If we replace IX and I2 with their numerical values, we obtain the, dis uh, the power supplied by the dependent source is equal to 1.8. 836 kilowatt. Let's move on now to problem number two. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4 along with an independent voltage source Vs. We can observe here also the presence of a dependent source, especially a voltage controlled voltage source. The question now is to find the voltage Vx is the voltage across the resistor R3 and the power supplied by the voltage controlled voltage source. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply the mesh analysis method to solve uh, this uh, problem. First, let's begin by defining the number of meshes in this network. It's evident that there are three meshes. This is mesh one, mesh 2 and mesh 3. Now let's proceed to assign the mesh current in this network and I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2 and I3 is the current uh, in mesh 3. All the mesh currents are chosen in the clockwise direction. Let's start first with mesh 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1 we can write R1 I1 plus Vs plus R3 I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain 10 I1 plus 3 plus 1 multiplying by I1 minus I3 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain 11 I1 minus I3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Let's move on now to mesh 2. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 2, we can write 
negative vs plus r2 i2 minus 2 vx is equal to 0. And according to Ohm's law, the voltage vx is equal to r3 multiplying by i1 minus i2. And if we replace that here in the first equation, we obtain negative 3 plus 5 i2 minus 2 i1 plus 2 i3 is equal to 0. Let's move on to mesh 3. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 3, we can write R3 I3 minus I1 plus 2 Vx plus R4 I3 is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors with their numerical values, we obtain I3 minus I1 plus 2 Vx plus 2 I3 is equal to 0. When we know, according to Ohm's law, that Vx is equal to R3 I1 minus I3. I th uh, R3 is equal to 1. That means Vx is equal to I1 minus I3. And if we replace this in the previous equation, we obtain I3 minus I1 plus 2 I1 minus I3 plus 2 I3 is equal to 0. And if we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain I3 plus I1 is equal to 0. Now, by doing 1 minus 11, 3, multiplying by equation 3, we obtain negative 12 I3 plus 3 is equal to 0. That means I3 is equal to 3 over 12, we get 250 milliamps. And from equation 3, we have I3 plus I1 is equal to 0. That means I1 is equal to negative I3 is equal to negative 250 milliamps. And from equation 2, we have I2 is equal to 3 plus 2 I1 minus 2 I3 over 5. And if we replace I1 and I3 with their numerical values, we obtain I2 is equal to 400 milliamps. Let's move on now to Vx is equal to I1 minus I3. We know I1 and we know I3. We get Vx is equal to negative 0.5 volt. And the last one is the power supplied by the dependent source is equal to 2Vx multiplying by I2 minus I3. We get finally P is equal to negative 150 milliwatt. After completing the calculation, we conduct the simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here is both networks are drawn in SPICE simulator. Let's start first with the problem number one. This is, is the current source IA, resistor R1, R2 and R3 and this is, is the volt, the current controlled voltage source. Here I connect to what meter to, to measure the uh, power supplied by the dependent source. If I go to analysis, this uh, analysis calculate nodal voltages, we can see here that the power is equal to 1.84 kilowatts is almost the same value we have done by calculation and the current IX is equal to 21.428 is also almost the same value we have done by calculation. Let's move on now to uh, problem two. We can see here this is, is the independent voltage source R1, R2, R3 and R4 and this is, is the voltage controlled voltage source. I connect here a wattmeter to measure the power supplied by the dependent source. If we go to analysis, they say analysis calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that the, the power is equal to negative 150 milliwatt is also the same value we have done by calculation and the voltage across the resistor R3 Vx is equal to negative 0.5 is equal to negative 500 millivolt. We can see here that the calculation and the 
the, the calculation and the simulation are similar thank you for watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and i will answer you as soon as possible if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share take care and bye bye